Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party and welcome to the start of Princess Peach's Birthday Cake. A very, very simple but very fun board game if you ask me, or board I should say. They're, this is technically a board game simulator but uh, now I'm just going to call it board not a board game because that sounds weird. <laughs> anyway, so it takes place on top of a cake. Can you believe that? Pretty, pretty awesome if you ask me. And every time you hit one of those uh, happening spaces, well, let's just say something interesting will pop up if you have enough coins. If you don't, however, nothing happens as you saw with Wario there. But, uh, you'll see you later, don't you worry. And now we're starting off with Musical Mushrooms, a fantastic minigame to start with. I love Musical Mushrooms. It's not the greatest, but it's fun for what it's worth. And just waiting for the music to stop. When's it gonna stop? When's it gonna stop? When's it gonna stop? There we go. And I win, yay! Because I'm awesome like that, don't you know? Alrighty. So like I mentioned last part, uh, this is actually the first board that me and my sister ever played back in the day when we got Mario Party, and uh, it's got a lot of nostalgia for me for that alone. It's pretty fantastic, and I completely forgot to change the save setting. Sorry about that. My bad. Alright. So yeah, this one definitely has a lot of memories for me. It may not be the most amazing board ever. In fact, I still say Mario's Rainbow Castle is better overall just for the music of anything. But there's just a lot of love thrown into this one as well, I think. And now we got a Goomba over here, and uh, I'll explain him a bit more when we get him, get to him. But uh, as you saw there, Luigi picked a seed that gave him the access to Toad. So what happens if you pick another particular seed? Well, we'll find out later. Yeah, there, this board definitely does have some problems that I'll be addressing, but uh, still overall I find it pretty fun. It's, it's definitely at least a lot, lot better than stupid freaking Mario's Battle Cannon. I cannot stand that one and I'm not looking forward to talking over that one. But, for now, we're moving on to Running of the Bulb, a fantastic minigame. Easily one of my favorites, if not my favorite. I love this one. And, once again, I'm not carrying the bulb. I actually don't think I ever got to carry the bulb once. Which is really weird. Usually I end up being the one carrying the bulb when I play this game, but no, this time I have not gotten it once. And so, smacking these boos around. Luigi, you should really not be at the top of the screen like this. You see what I mean? Just makes you an easy target for these boos. And you don't want that. No, nope, no, you do not. That ah, crud. I'm possessed. Oh no. Come on, Mario, you gotta save us. Save us. Come on, you gotta save us. Uh, come on. Ah, no. Yes, there we go. Alright, run, 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 run. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, no. Yes! Did it! Heck yeah! That was awesome! Whew. That was a pretty close one, I I have to admit. But we did it! Everyone survived! Fantastic! I love that one. Alright, so 10 coins for everybody. Hooray! And, yeah. So yeah, I can't remember how many coins you need for the happening space to actually do something. I'm pretty sure it's 30, but uh, we shall see. So here's the Goomba again, and we have to play the Flower Lottery, which costs 10 coins. This is not optional, by the way. You have to play it. So if you pick the right seed, you'll get Toad. And uh, he's like, oh, too bad, too bad. You have to go see Toad and all that. And in actuality, that's a good thing, because you want to get the star, so... We go over here to Toad, and we can get the star now. Fantastic. So where's it going to move? It doesn't move. It's like uh, Mario's Rainbow Castle. It doesn't move at all. Princess Toadstool made this cake. What do you think? I think it's pretty impressive, actually. She did a good job on it. But... Oh no! Come on! It's too early for this! Not chance time! Oh no! Oh, oh, don't let me lose my star. I just, I worked so hard for- Okay, it doesn't me. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, as I was saying with the uh, Toad before, or the 
flower lottery. You have to pick a seed, and you have to hope the seed that you pick doesn't take you to Bowser. So that's how you end up going to Bowser. If you pick the wrong seed, you have to go down to Bowser. And again, the flower lottery is not optional, unfortunately. You have to do it. And yes, there's three coins, so Mario's going to kindly demonstrate what happens. Seeing by a seed, and hey, look at that. A piranha plant. You, you call that flower? Seriously. Now, if anybody lands on that happening space now, that piranha plant will steal a star. You heard me right. It steals a star. So you really gotta watch out for those piranha plants. If you're not careful, then you will land on one, you will lose your star, and it will annoy you to no end. So, yeah. But on the plus side, you too can buy the piranha plants to get people to land on them as well. And we got Bloom Burst again. So there's a lot of strategy with this board, actually, when you think about it. You know, it really comes down to where do you want your piranha plants to be? Would this be a good spot? Do you think someone could land on it here and whatnot? So there is a bit of strategy to it, so... This is actually a pretty fun board when you're playing with friends and whatnot. But when you're playing with the AI, it's alright. It's not bad or anything, it's just... I don't know, no, it's kind of like Donkey Kong's uh, Jungle Adventure Board, you know? It's fine, but there's not really a whole lot to say. There's not that much interesting stuff to it, but... Uh, anyways, that was Balloon Burst. So if that pops up again, I will fast forward it in this, in this board, so don't worry about that, but... Uh, yeah. So, ten more coins for me, and that puts me out of Wario now. Good. And as far as the music goes... It's okay. It's not really anything I listen to in my free time, but it's not bad. It's just, it gets the job done. So I gotta wonder, though. They mentioned that Princess Toadstool, like a Princess Peach, made the cake. So whose birthday is it then? And, uh, yeah, notice that uh, he took Mario's one coin. And there's Bowser for you. And he's like, it's a winner! No, it's not. That's bad. You idiot. But, uh, yeah. If you ever don't have ten coins, then you can just, you know, move freely. And, oh, that's... That's messed up, Mario. Oh, man, I feel so bad for poor Luigi now. That's messed up. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, I remember now. So if you ever get to the flower lottery and you don't have 10 coins, you'll just take the coins you have and then you'll play it that way, so... Yeah. There's no way to avoid the flower lottery, unfortunately, except for by a warp block, which, you know, are random, so... Don't expect to escape it much. And now we're playing Chai Guy Says again, and he looks like he tricked Wario already. So long, Wario. Yeah, just me and the brothers now. I'm sure I got this, though. Yeah, you'll be raising those white flags in a minute, guys, because I will be victorious. Speaking of which, <laughs> I couldn't have timed that much better. There we go. And, alright, I did it. Sweet. Yeah, that, that makes up for my last time playing Shy Guy Says, right? When I screwed up horribly with Donkey Kong. Alrighty. Sweet. Almost got enough coins for a uh, piranha plant, but not quite. Get in there, though. Yeah, poor Luigi. I, I can't help but feel bad for him now. So this is what Bowser does. Oh, so you like sweets, huh? Well, here's a sweet for you. Oh, it's a Bowser birthday cake. Um, is it just a shell with frosting, though? Or is it an actual cake? Because it looks like a shell with frosting and a candle stuck on it. Now, granted, I'm not trying to question Bowser's baking skills, mind you. Maybe he just made an actual cake that just happens to look like a shell. But I, I have my doubts about that, too. And gosh darn it, I got a poisonous mushroom. No, now I can't move next turn. Ah, well, whatever. Yeah, it's no big deal. I just gotta deal with it sometimes. So once again, Mario gets away cheap, and he's got the yellow seed now, so... He's guaranteed to see Toad since there's only one Bowser seed. But now the seeds will reset, and we will have another Bowser seed in place, so... Gotta be careful of that. It all comes down to luck, and 
That's one thing that I don't like about this board is that there is a lot of luck to it. You know, you gotta get lucky with the seeds, you gotta get lucky not to land on the uh, happening spaces that have other people's piranha plants, so there's a lot of luck involved here, and I'm not a fan of that, but overall it's not too luck-based. And now we got Skateboard Scamper, uh, meh minigame if you ask me. If I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of this one. If the controls were a little bit better, I would have liked this one, but as is, I think the controls are just unexcusable. You know, the jump button and, you know, skate button should not be put next together. How about push A to, A, ugh, getting all tongue twist. How about push Z to jump and tap the A button to skate? That would have worked a lot better because then I wouldn't have to, you know, constantly switch over. You see how I'm slowing down here? It's because I have to keep switching back and forth between skating and jumping. It's ridiculous. And yeah, some people will argue, why don't you just use two fingers? I'm not used to that, okay? I'm used to using just my thumb. It's a pain in the butt and I hate it. Seriously. Not a well-designed minigame in my opinion. It could have been good if they had just fixed the controls, but... Whatever, it is what it is, it's over, let's move on. Well, okay, I can't move this turn, so I guess move on isn't the proper turn, but you know what I mean. And let's see what Luigi gets this time, I'm sure he's gonna get Toad this time. Pick the red seed again, and let's take a look. Yep, he got Toad. Good for you. After you saw Bowser, though, you kinda deserve it, if I'm honest. And he's one coin away from getting a star. Mm. This is definitely one where you can get a lot of stars. If you're looking to get uh, higher stars for the game and whatnot, this is probably the best board to do it. Especially if you do four players, because then you get everybody's stars at the end of the game. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic, if I say so myself. Yeah, I just, I just love the idea. Playing a board on top of a giant cake, that's awesome. Gosh darn it, I want cake now. And next up we got Tug of War. We've all seen this before. But now it's time to play it again, because why not? Said Princess Peach, what are you doing? Peach, stop that! Gosh, what is with you all in doing that? Stop that! Seriously! Come on, th this is awkward or, or, enough. Seriously. And like I said before, Wario's head looks ridiculous in the uh, Bowser costume, because it just looks so huge. Like, seriously, why did they design it to be so huge? It's ridiculous. But, yeah, that's Tug of War for you. Very simple, very easy minigame. A lot of people don't like it because you have to rotate the joystick, but here's a simple solution, guys. Put on a glove like I do. It's not that hard. It'll keep you from getting blisters in the middle of your palm. Trust me, I've been doing it for years. And I have not gotten a blister ever since I started wearing a glove when I play those games. Alright, so it looks like... Luigi's going to get a star now, good for him. Again, he, he had to deal with Bowser and his cake, possibly fake cake, so... Yeah, it, it is what it is, I'm cool with it. Besides, I might still later with a piranha plant, so who knows? And... Oh, he got a poisonous mushroom like I did. Aha, good. Alright, let's try to make some progress here since I had, couldn't move last turn. Seriously, that, that Yoshi plush thing or whatever looks adorable. I would want, I would love one of those. If there's any prop makers out there that can make one of those, please let me know. I would love one. And now we got the shell game for Mario, which nobody wants to watch, so I'm just going to fast forward it. Nobody wants to watch the AI play a game by, their, by themselves, right? I hope not, because I keep speeding them up. And looks like he won. Good for him. And let's see what Wario gets. Six, alright. And nothing happened again. Yeah, am I the only one that thinks 30 coins is a bit much? How about 20 coins instead? Anyways, next up is Buried Treasure, which will be the last minigame for this part. But, uh, yeah, I love this one. Bur Buried Treasure is a lot of fun. Yeah, this is one of the ones that should have been the Mario Party Top 100 if it wasn't. I really need to look at look at all the games that was in the Top 100 again, because there were some really good ones and there were some really crappy ones I can't believe made it. Yeah. If I ever get the ability to record uh, footage, I would love to do that game. 
Wow, Mario, you're an idiot. You were right on top of the treasure chest and you just passed it by. That's pathetic. But anyways, folks, that's going to do it for this part, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.